amigos, una nueva edición aquí de Auto 060 en Cristina Radio Network. Y esta semana estuvimos ahí en el uh, Willow Springs Racetrack. Uh, and now we're going to switch back to English because uh, we were at, uh, as I was saying, Willow Springs Racetrack with the best of AMG. And there we talked with Tobias Mears, the CEO, the new CEO, uh, recently appointed CEO of AMG, the high-performance division of uh, Mercedes-Benz. Well, Tobias, thank you very much uh, for having us here at uh, Willow Springs with uh, your collection of beautiful cars, and congratulations for uh, being uh, named uh, the, the new head of AMG. Like, uh, congratulations, amazing job there. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Yeah. So AMG has grown uh, tremendously. I mean, it's a company that it's almost going to be what 50 years in uh, 2017, right? So um, the, the the broad has expanded from the now from the CLA 45 AMG to this uh, the SLS Black Series. Right, yeah, AMG moved to new to, to, to a new level in the last, I think, 10 years. So that's the most important era of Mercedes AMG. Um, our product lineup, uh, the portfolio is now close to 30 cars, um, different cars. Um, we promise that we that we have more than 30 variants for our cars in, in our next anniversary, which is the fifth Thursday in uh, 2017. Yeah, AMG is a, is a big company in the meantime. It's more than uh, close to 1,200 people. Wow. Yeah, and, and everybody in that company is, yeah, has the same spirit, driving performance. Can we go back a little bit into the history? Because uh, people know what AMG is, but some people don't know what the letters mean and how the company started. Yeah, AMG. So the A of AMG is Mr. Alfred. The M is Mr. Major. These both guys are the found, were the founders of AMG, and uh, G is Rose Adbach, uh, which is the fourth place of uh, Mr. Alfred. Yeah. And uh, so almost in the year 1967 when it started, right? But it was an independent company. It was like a couple of enthusiastic people driving, uh, making the Mercedes Benz a little bit better than they were from from the from the beginning. Better and then and fortier, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And then now, how 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 is the process nowadays? Because do you develop cars uh, completely on your own? Obviously, you work with uh, the uh, headquarters from Mercedes Benz. But how's that process now? Because uh, always people want to have more and better things with Mercedes Benz. But how is your thinking behind when you put a, a new car on the market? Now there's um so AMG in the meantime is 100% order of Daimler, and we are the, the performance brand of Mercedes Benz car group. So everything what we have in our portfolio must meet our requirements in terms of, which is our brand core, driving performance. This means we need a certain performance level of, from the engine side and we need a certain level of driving dynamics because it's, a, it's always where, I, where we are in. In every segment it's a competitive segment. It's very yeah. competitive and we have a lot of competitors uh, which are in the market, which are coming up in that segment. And, but development wise we, are, we have a lot of freedom. So. We are responsible by ourselves, so we are responsible for every car, and as I said, it's our own car, we developed it fully at AMG, so it's, everything is done by us, and uh, we have to, to discuss with the board of Mercedes, for sure, but uh, we get some release for new products, programs out of that board, but we have to do it by ourselves. Yeah. And then when you do it by yourself, there's actually one person for every engine, which is pretty amazing nowadays with all the technology that is available, all the robots and all the, the things that, that, that a big company could do. You have like one person doing one engine. We have still our one, one man, one engine philosophy in production facility, yeah. And we do the four cylinder, the eight cylinder, the plus cylinder on the same way. So this is part of our philosophy, it's part of our brand. It's the inner core of our brand as well as driving performance. So. That's very important for us, and it gives us a certain, yeah, we have a lot of feedback. Just yesterday we had a discussion about feedback from customers about that philosophy, and it's perfect for us. It's customer dedication. Exactly, because people are expecting more and more in every brand. And then when you talk on a, a high-performance brand of Mercedes-Benz, people are expecting even more. So that little, little detail, for some people might be a little detail, for you guys it's a one of them at the core yep. of the essence of the company, right? Like putting like really attention to everything that goes into the car. Yeah, this is where AMG stands for. So it's, it's uh, AMG is a, is, a, is a special company. It's a dedicated company to performance levels, but it's a, as well as an individuality company. So individuality is for our customers very important. And um, one man one engine is one approach of individual individuality, which is very important for our markets and for our customers. That's, that's, 
I think it's, it's a good expression of uh, a good a good picture for customer dedication. Yeah. And now a ANG, uh, I mean, from my understanding, there's no other company or other car manufacturer that has such a broad bat brand of, of cars because now you have the CLA, which is like a, a new en entry level for, for you guys. And I don't think nobody goes like to the, to the G wagon and like this. The e wagon, which is amazing. I mean, the SLS is pretty fun to drive. But when you drive the e wagon AMG, you forget how much car you have behind you when yep. you're driving. Yeah, it's an amazing car. So there's no other, other company that make do what you do, right? I think. I think in in in, in comparison to performance brands, um, we have the the widest portfolio, for sure. Um, there are, 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 yeah, we have a wide portfolio. Yeah, I think we are standalone on the market with that portfolio. That's for sure because nobody has a G wagon, for example. <laughs> yeah. And uh, the, the, let's talk a little bit of the CLA because it's the newest car in, in the in the brand. Uh, how challenging was to develop that car? Because obviously it's a car that has to come down in price, but then it has to, to offer everything that AMG stands for. Yeah, that's with every program what we set up is, is we have the same discussion. It must be always fits in our brand and must meet all our, all our requirements in terms of driving performance. I first start with the engine. So it's, it's in today it's benchmark and, 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 and power dis displacement uh, output. It's benchmark and fuel efficiency. It's benchmark and 360 horsepower out of out of two liter engine. It's, I think it's a perfect engine in terms of throttle response. Especially at low rest as well as in high rest, and it's, it's based on a four-wheel, uh, front-wheel driven car. You know that. And uh, the target for us was give that car the driving performance of what we what we expect from that car. And so this uh, leads us to the development of a new front axle, different setups on the rear axle, different suspension arms on the rear axle, everything. So everything is underneath of the target driving performance. Yeah, and then I hear in the background we hear the SLS is going by, the Black Series is going by, which is an amazing sound. And I, I drove it. I'm not a very good driver. I hear that you are a really good driver. But even me, like with all the technology, it's, in, it's amazing how you just press a button and then the car like almost like tells you, okay, you can push me more, you can do more with me, right? Yeah, and SLS is a, is a technology statement. So we, we use a titanium exhaust system in the car. We, we reduce the weight of the of the, of the Black Series. Um, we and, and we add some weight with bigger tires and bigger wheels and everything. And uh, but but we added we reduced the weight on uh, to 70 kilograms compared to the standard SLS GT. And um, it's a car. Our target was to have a race car street legal, and I think we achieved that target. Yeah. Well, uh, speaking of the the competition car, it has hundred hundred horsepower less because of regulations, right? Yeah. So it's pretty amazing when you can have the street car has. More power than the competition car. Well, that's happened sometimes in, in the racing series, but uh, like the competition car, the SLS GT3, is, is, is still faster because it uses slicks. Yeah. So um, now with the CLA, the new car, what, what's in the future for uh, AMG in the next uh, few years? Because <laughs> technology is going always going. Uh, I mean, the car companies are going like 25 years ahead of us. So what, I, I, I know you can tell me much, but. Something. I'm not able to tell you something, but uh, it will be next year is very important for us. That's what I can say to you. Um, we bring up a few products that we really, really, really right. Well, that's a perfect excuse to come back and visit you again. Then, yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> You're always welcome. Thank you. Bueno, ese fue Tomías Mers, el CEO de AMG, ahí en el Best of AMG eh, event en Willow Springs, en California. Y bueno, como nos decía, no nos puede decir mucho de lo que viene en el futuro, pero lo que hay en el presente de AMG realmente increíble. Les invito a que vayan a facebook.com slash auto 060 para que vean eh, toda la información, eh, sobre todo los videos que hicimos allá en Willow Springs eh, de los autos de AMG y un burnout ahí con dos uh, C, uh, C, C63 AMGs, un coupé y un sedán que realmente fabuloso, un video de tres minutos que seguramente se lo van a disfrutar tanto como nosotros lo disfrutamos allá eh, cuando estuvimos en la pista en California. Así que bueno, esta fue la prueba de manejo con uh, The Best of AMG y cuando regresemos en el siguiente segmento vamos a hablar con Michael Harley eh, de Autoblog.com quien nos va a compartir sus impresiones sobre este evento. Siempre es eh, interesante escuchar la opinión de los colegas. Esto es Auto 060, yo soy Javier Mota.